Hello guys, and welcome to episode 8 of my Napoleon Total War Coalition campaign, playing as Great Britain, going for world domination victory. Previously, we destroyed the third rebellion of Paris, which was a big old battle once again, but we managed to take them out, and now we're in a position at the start of this turn where we can probably attack Brussels, so that's pretty nice. We'll be getting on with that at some point, but before we do... I would like to take out Villeneuve. He's currently blockading Chatham Docks and we're going to engage him with Nelson. And we're going to take all of the ships that are currently repaired. We're going to zoom around here and then we're going to engage with ships orders. good old George. Although never mind, Villeneuve has decided to intercept. Okay. Well... Maybe we just go in on it. I reckon we could still win. We have the larger ships. Let's go. Nelson versus Villeneuve, 1v1. No second navy to call on. We're just going to have to use some mighty fine tactics. So the wind's actually against us, and honestly, I think that's okay. Because what I'll probably do... We'll go straight towards them and then we'll pull in and try and slice in between their formation. Cut in, get volleys on both sides. I think that's probably the best idea. So we'll let them zip towards us. And we will just thread the needle. Maybe between two of these frigates would be a good idea. Get multiple double broadsides onto those. That would be fantastic. See how we do. Will they allow me to do so? It'd be pretty brutal if we do. Imagine a 122 gun put in right next up. Right next to your 38 gun frigate. Oh boy. It's gonna get nasty. It's gonna get nasty. Oh man. That 32 gun frigate is just demolished almost immediately. What are they trying to do here? Right, I guess we can go to the left, that's fine. Try and cut through that way, get in front of the uh, the other ship here, the 122. Oh, perfect. Look at that. The damage on this 32 gun frigate is just ridiculous already. Okay. Alright, let's uh, pull to the right so they overlap. Already sunk the first ship there. I'm not a fan of uh, him being in the middle. I'm actually probably just going to stop, like, right in front of their ship. So that his ship is kind of just stuck there. Let's turn these in. Get off some broadsides. Just destroying this 38 gun. Oh man. I'm not a fan of their broadside coming into us though. That's for sure. Right. Well, <laughs> so far so good, right? <laughs> I'm gonna try and pull round ahead of Field Nerf. I'm gonna have this one cut in so we can just blast that one in. A stern. I 
Let's do a full UE here. On this guy. Oh. Bam. This engagement is rough. But if we just cut our sails here, just stay putting rounds into the arse with the with the 98 gun, I think that's absolutely fine. What a crazy engagement. If he's going to do that, we'll just cut in behind him. Get our fun side on target. Oh, that one's surrendered and sinking. The other one's routing over there. Look at that, it's come right next to us. That's really cool. We've nearly won. Damn, that was a very efficient... Very efficient fight. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. <laughs> that ship just sunk completely. That one surrendered and is on fire. I mean, it may be better to just do it like this. So we keep Nelson on target. There we go. Go on, surrender Villeneuve. You've been defeated. I'm not sure what my ship's trying to do here. Where's he going? Is his rudder broken or something? Let's just fix him up. Well, pretty good idea to turn this one in as well. Start firing as Beautiful. One route for me before these ships sink. It's wavering. He's on fire and routing. Boom. Please let me capture the 122. That would be fantastic. Yes! We got it! We got it! Beautiful. It's worth 1,500, but I want that. Give it to me. <laughs> Another 122 gun. Nice. Villeneuve is destroyed. That was a very nice battle for us. And let's have a look at our income. 6,627. Oh, beautiful. So what we can do from now on is just keep building our navy up. Unfortunately, it looks like I am going to have to save and reload from here, guys, because you can hear the sound bug. Or has it fixed itself? Oh, it fixed itself. Great. Okay, cool. Never mind. We don't have to save. <laughs> we can just enjoy our victory. All right. So... From here, I'm probably just going to split this navy. Actually, I guess we could maybe have William Con Wallace come over here and blockade that. You're not quite in range. And we need to fix up these two. I'm going to send a couple here to go and blockade that properly. And then... Does that actually give us the money for that? I'm not sure it does. Alright, let's just come out and uh, sit on the trade then. Oh lord, not again. Move away. <laughs> okay, I'm back again. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll just attack that trade route there as well. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's more efficient to do it there than it is maybe to do it on the whole line here. I mean, I guess maybe we have 
one of them attack this side, and one of them attack this side. Like that. But at least we kind of damage the port there. Maybe we just do that here as well. Damage the port, make them fix it. Okay, as for this lot, well, probably time to just go into port again at Portsmouth. And uh, hopefully we can fix some of this up again. We'll use up the money to max them out. Well, this guy is going to have to get into Ren. That's fine. And yeah, that's us controlling the seas from now on pretty much. Now we have a battle at Brussels to do. And then afterwards, Amsterdam. I have a lot of artillery. Wow. A lot of artillery. Probably a good thing, actually, because the less line infantry they have, the better, for the most part, I would say. Yes. Because that's what the AI is good at using, line infantry. Whereas if they have a lot of cannons and cavalry, uh, we can kind of break that down before we fully engage them, like we've done in the past. Anyway, let's uh, grab... Yes, sir. Let's put the fencibles in here, and then we'll, we'll grab the line infantry and pull them out. Well, that's going to go down to minus one. Okay, how much more can we take without that being a problem? So minus one, can we bring out the Highland Foot? No. Alright, we'll put another 160 back in, or maybe one of the 135, that'll do. Alright, and that's minus one again. Cool. So we can move on with the Duke of Wellington. Uh, the reason we're doing the minus one there is because it will probably trigger the uh, letters of demands and the riots, uh, which will then clean up the public order by another one. So it should be fine just leaving these fellas in here. And then when we get the cash, we can start recruiting some more troops and yeah, building up the force to go down to Bordeaux. We are going to have to keep an eye on Napoleon, but I think for now he's just heading over towards Marseille. So we should be all right. As for the Duke of Wellington, well, time to go take Brussels. Are we arranged to attack it? We are. Perfect. It's a lot of cannons. A lot of cannons. Okay. Uh, we'll maybe... Oh, we can't even demand the surrender. Okay. Uh, well, we'll just assault them then. Let's go. Now, if it's a town battle, maybe they'll have a lot of their cannons in the town. There won't be so much of an issue. We'll see. And they are going to have defences, I think. Maybe not, actually. But let's go and set up on this hill on the left-hand side for now. This is quite a nice high hill that we can use. That's a six-pounder. We'll put the larger artillery here. Do that, and we'll have these guys on the left side because they have less range. Okay, then in between those, just a standard unit of infantry. Might spread them out a little bit more. Okay, that's fine. We'll just put the good infantry in there. And then all of these will spread out on that side, and these on this side. there. Major Dragoons need to spread out. Make sure the Duke of Wellington's well at the back. Start the battle. Move him into cover. I'm going to move my cab over here. And we're going to spread out these guys as well. Perfect. So, first things first, General Snipe. <laughs> uh, then we need to start moving our cav around the flanks and get them into cover over there. I could probably take out a lot of these cannons very quickly, actually, if we hurry this up. I could kill like three of these cannons. I don't have any cav on the right hand side. 
Speaking of which, they do have Cav on the right flank. Or is that just the horse artillery? Uh, they do have these guys, Lancers. They're pretty nasty. No, let's charge in ASAP. Need to make sure my cannons are probably firing at their main line. Those armed citizenry probably won't hit our cav very well. Right, go on, smash them all. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. <laughs> really nice hit there with the cav. Really nice. Okay, good. Time to run, boys. We lost ten men for three cannon units. I'm happy. Happy with that. Right, these dragoons, we're going to have shift all the way over to the far right. I do have their lancers still available. If I can hit the lancers, then we'll, we'll try to. Because if I can take care of the lancers, then we can probably get into their cannons on the right here as well. Oh, that was a really nice hit. Damn. Really good. I'm going to have to be careful because it looks like the Lancers are posturing to pick up my cav and that's probably the worst engagement we could last for so we'll try and stay oh, near our infantry for now. Right, let's uh, have these target the general there and so on. And they're definitely trying to go for my cav but they <laughs> ran straight in front of my lines there which is perfect. And we caught on to a few of them, which is good. Pull those off. Charge them off the field. Nine of them left. That'll do. We don't need to chase them down, it's a settlement battle. I will get into cover ASAP though. Hitting those cannons so good on the left flank at the start was fantastic. And maybe I can kill these ones behind. They're pretty close to these lines though. The armed citizenry could technically turn around. Oh, these chasseurs might turn around, honestly. They have really long range as well. Please don't snipe me too much. Damn. Close. Alright, can we get the charge in here, I wonder? It'd be worth it if we can. I'm gonna have to change the uh, the targets of the cannons though. One more. Go on, kill it. Kill it quick. Quick. Oh, do a runner. Do a runner, boys. <sighs> Damn. Alright, those are routing and shattered, which is good, because I'll probably run back in this direction. And I can finish them off, but wow. That 
we took a lot of damage on our cav. Unfortunately, it means that we're probably going to lose ranks over time. But I think when you replenish units, it actually like removes their ranks over time, which is unfortunate. But for now, all good. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. <laughs> well, that goes the general snipe. Okay, let's focus on killing. Maybe the horse artillery here. Just got to be careful with our cav. Oh no, they chased in my calf. Run. Run away. Don't want to lose this unit of calf just because it is so high rank. Alright, looks like we're safe. They've turned around. <laughs> okay, do we start shifting my cav to take out these cannons? Hmm. We have taken out one of the cav trains there. Oh, we just took out another. Could we potentially charge into the back of these? If I wheel my cav round again, we might be able to make that work. I'm going to have to replace this cav at some point, though. I don't think the replenishment's fast enough for them. And this is really rough as well. This might require me to start moving aggressively with a few divisions to the right hand side. I'm just kind of worried about Anister. Uh We could, in fact, move them up behind here for the time being. Have this unit stay spread as spread as it can. Okay, cool. Oh, did we actually end up destroying all of the six pounder? We did. All right, perfect. Well, let's target the uh, other six pounder artillery. We took out the horse artillery. Now we need to take out the foot artillery. Okay, I didn't actually expect them to kill them all, but whatever. And now we just need to take out the cannons on this side. My cannons are nearly in position, and a charge into the armed citizenry will probably uh, break them with the cow, honestly. I'm probably safe to, to charge in here. Don't know whether to target the armed citizenry, though. I always find it strange how the colours on the armed citizenry are very similar to our own, but on their normal infantry, it's blue completely different and then like on our artillery for example we have blue uniforms it's, it's kind of weird our uniform system i think they are coming towards us now probably best to start moving back okay well, job done. We took out those cannons. And they're now charging towards us. Or at least moving towards us. Ooh, let's not get them killed. Run away, boys. Run away. Uh, what's going on here? 
Oh, we're gonna have to run. I guess we are. They're <laughs> running towards us. Interesting. Let's draw them in. And our cav here can probably just run over here. Hopefully avoiding any of these guys. Units, I'm a little bit worried of getting too close to the armed citizenry, but it looks like they'll be okay. Let's just give them the attack order onto the cannons there. And it looks like our entire front line is now engaging, which is perfect. Uh, these guys need to stop. Canister, fire well. So far, so good. Uh, these could move closer. So we're going to. And they should be able to hit the chasseurs there. Maybe. Might have to go a bit further forwards. Our men are running for. Oh shit! Did they get shot by the cannons. I guess they did. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, we got into the cannons, which is good. We are engaging the chasseurs now. All of these fellas are doing their job. Some of these will come back, Glorious victories, huh? it's to be but yours. for the most part, we're just gonna absolutely wreck them. That poor chasseur, in between three regiments. We don't actually have to chase them down in this battle because it's a settlement battle, so we're just gonna get my cav into somewhere safe. Actually, uh, what might have happened is my own cannons hit my. Uh, my horses, because one of them was still on standard round shot. This has been absolutely fantastic. This was a really good battle for us. We still have a lot of men which are like not even in this fight. But that's a good thing, you know? Like a lot of units that just haven't been touched. It's really, really good for us. Because it means that when we attack Amsterdam, or when we take Brussels, I guess, it's going to make sure that the units in Amsterdam don't attack us, and if they do, then we'll probably win anyway. I think that's that's the best part about this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Orders. We're in rifle range. I'd say that's victory, more or less. Fabulous. We'll just end the battle there for the heroic victory. 273 lost, 1,932 killed. Wow, if we peacefully occupy, they're actually happy with us. That's nice.
Don't mind if I do. These sound bugs are so bad. Now, we don't have enough money to fix up the cannon foundry, which is a little bit annoying. But they don't have much resistance to foreign occupation, which is nice. So we're going to grab like an extra 600 from that alone. Oh, the one thing that I probably shouldn't have done if I was going to do this was attack the trade port. Oops. Oh well. It's fine. So that is the last French port taken, I think. They do have this harbour, but there's no building there. Actually, I think they might be able to... Yeah, they can build some trade ships at Genoa. But that's it. Good. And it's nice that we're allied with Prussia now, because they're a lot less likely to just randomly attack us if we were to take Amsterdam. So, yeah, we're in a really nice position now. We've done well. We've broken down the French. I think Paris is probably the hardest one to sort the public order out. The rest of them are absolutely fine now. Like, Karl, Ren, they're all good. I should probably put like a militia unit in there just to kind of get rid of some of this religious unrest. Actually, I guess we there's nothing else to repress here, is there? Yeah, those would all be neutral. The reason this one's neutral, because there's no foreign occupation, it's just religious unrest and tax burden. Cool. Alright. Uh, here, I'm tempted to just boot one of these again. That's plus zero to diplomatic relations. The same. Well, never mind. Worth a try. So yeah, we're allied with Austria, Russia, and Russia. I'll start with France. We're at war with the Ottoman Empire as well, and we're at war with Spain. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll take France, we'll take Spain, then we'll take the Ottoman Empire's lands. And go from there. And if uh, Portugal's not allied with anyone, we can kill them while we're on the way. They're just trading with other people and they're not actually allied. We can kill them. Good. Anything I need to do with fleets? Don't think so. Nope. All good. I send the turn. Napoleon's coming to Paris. Okay. I thought he'd probably be going across to Marseille, so that's not good. Not good at all. Because now I'm going to have to send some troops back from Brussels. Although, I guess what we could do, depending on what they do in Amsterdam, at the Batavian Republic, we could send back some units and then encourage them to attack us. The Swiss Confederation is actually sending an army in. I thought they were going to leave Amsterdam then. <laughs> oh no. I thought they were going to leave Amsterdam with like half a half a garrison. We would have just killed them. Right, so technology advances. Fantastic. We've got uh, division of labor complete. Now we're going for poverty control laws, which is fine. And we've completed national census. We're going for public schooling. I think uh, public schooling is good as well. So that's fine. Saxony has been destroyed. Maybe we should have taken the money for joining that war. Uh, tax collector for William Huskisson and factory master for David Ricardo. Extra research points per turn for industrial technologies. Okay, let's go to our technology then. Which guy got that bonus? Because it'd probably be best to switch the research around based on that. He's got Manufactory owner, factory master. Oh, that's cool. They're both, they're both boosting it, which is probably why it's only going to take five turns. Cool. And we do have one ship complete in London. 
Are there any trade nodes like up the top here? No. Right, I'll probably send that down then towards the ivory since that's still worth the most, I believe. Yep. We're going to make 8,950 at the end of the turn now. <laughs> Incredible. All right, let's just fix this up, fix this up. And I am really tempted to just kill uh, Amsterdam and take Amsterdam. Hmm. We'd have to send some stuff back. He currently has three units of Fusiliers. He's got the National Guard Militia. Militia. So four units of line infantry, three militia units. Well, the National Guard have 17 morale. Wow, his morale is crazy. Maybe that's just because they're under Napoleon. The morale of these units. Yeah, that's nuts. Okay. We've got four units of line infantry, one militia, some cav. We definitely need some like cannons or something here if I can. They're not going to be in range though. That's kind of awkward. Okay. Maybe we should have left a, a unit of cannons there. Let's send back some units of line infantry. They can't reach this turn. Which is kind of awkward. Uh, they will still reinforce. I guess we could still make that work. But there's no, like, sniping Napoleon, for example. Which is what I'm a bit worried about. One thing I might do, actually, we'll grab these guys and we'll go around to Khan. Or maybe we can come across a bit more. Put them in there. And then if they start to siege Paris but not actually take it, what we'll do yes, is have this guy reinforce or make the attack and then have these guys reinforce. Because I probably want to go for this attack. I'm going to leave this rebelling in the next turn. I think that's okay. We can make this move sooner than later and I don't have to worry about the French armies coming up from the center. Let's do it. Oh, they're actually okay with me leaving. Interesting. I thought that would definitely be rebelling, but it's not. All right then. Okay, what we're gonna do in Paris uh, is we are gonna start recruiting some cannons. Shame we can't get anything bigger. Getting the great arsenal here would be a good idea, unless we already have one here. No. See, this has better recruitment buildings already. It's going to take eight turns to build, though. Let's do standard foot artillery. Just because I'm not a massive fan of the horse artillery, since the horse artillery... Like, the, what's pulling them, the, like, the horses often get killed. So, yeah, I'd rather just use normal foot artillery. Because I think the horses that carry the foot artillery are more or less invulnerable to artillery fire. And we'll grab a few line infantry there as well. The idea is going to be now that we have this as one army, probably under the command of John Moore. And then we'll have the other army under command of the Duke of Wellington going through Europe. Alright, let's get this on the way. It's going to be kind of similar to the last battle. I should have probably had a better look at their infantry, but I think uh, half of their force is militia. Not armed citizenry, but just standard militia units. 
yeah. But we should be fine in that respect. I am tempted to have my cannons like all on the right here and just slam these guys when we start. I could in fact have my cav charge their cannons from the start. We will see. For now, maybe I take advantage of being able to deploy on the left here and play off that. I want my cannons deployed from the start. We we'll use them as a measuring device. Not ideal. It's fine. Infantry reporting. Yes, sir. Artillery. Right, and then we'll put one unit in between there. And yes, then we want the last unit of cannons. To go probably here. Cool. Alright, we'll bring the rest of the units over. Duke of Wellington can take cover, probably behind this hill on the left. The Dragoons, we only have one unit left, which is unfortunate. But otherwise, one unit here, one unit here, and then two units covering our left side. With a Infantry. black watch. They can be our reserve. Have them just spread out. Okay. Start the battle. Move them up like so. These guys need to start moving up on the left. Great. Sorted. Right, now what this is going to do... Potentially is make their whole formation shift and they'll leave the cannons behind. Kind of what I'm counting on. We might be able to kill some of the cannons on the left flank sooner than later. But I don't want to get caught up by their cav. It looks like currently their cav's running away. Start targeting their infantry so that my cav can get into the side of the town and kill their cannons. I think we killed some of our own dudes. Probably have them run. <laughs> get out of the way of the cannons, guys. Oh, yes. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, time to run, boys. Those are going to go off to the flank on the right-hand side. Wait, what's this unit? <laughs> Oops, <laughs> left them behind. <laughs> well, they can make the long walk back. <laughs> Alright, interesting. Not sure how this is going to work. Because I'm not going to be able to take out these Light Dragoons very easily. But we've already made some work by taking out those cannons. We'll try, probably try and get round to the other side now. Because I think these cannons over here are more exposed. It's just they're not in range of my cannons, so I can't really get rid of the uh, Dragoons very easily. Nothing that would be in range of them, is there? Yeah, this is pretty rough. The way that they've moved and set up now, they're not going to move anymore. They're going to be cemented in place unless we can start getting shots onto their units. Although saying that, when these cannons get into position, we'll see what they do after that. For now, it's just a matter of getting our Dragoons back into position. 
We'll just let them walk about. They are very tired. So that sprint into the into the town there. Okay. So let's hold on. See what happens. Waiting for them to form up. Yeah, that's two units of cannons already destroyed. They've got three left. We've got two units of cav. The rest is like militia and line infantry. Okay. Okay, they're not going anywhere. All right, guess it's time for us to make a move. Let's uh, stop these firing. We can put them on fire at well, but I need them to limber up. Cannon ready, sir. And what we'll do is probably shift our line over here. But let's just select everything, put them into a group, and I can. No, is that going to break it? That's kind of going to break it, unfortunately. Don't have enough space. This is kind of similar to the order that the AI would give. Which is why they always make... <laughs> of maneuvers like this. Ooh, this is causing them to move. Okay, interesting. Let's charge towards their cannons on the right side. Actually, maybe not. Gonna get my cav, though. Into cover. Maybe not. And they've left those cannons on the right-hand side. Go get them. Go get them, boys. Oh, no, the cavs arrived. Shit. Uh, will they care? Will they care? This could be a really bad idea. Nope, let's not do it. <laughs> Back we go. <laughs> Unless the cannons... Oh, the cavalry run off. Okay, let's get in there quickly. And they might stop and attack us with some of the infantry, but... Maybe it'll be okay. Oh god, this is risky. Oh, that line infantry. Two down. One, one left, one left, one left, one left. Run. Run. Don't walk. <laughs> Run. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. They are very tired. It's not good. We could take out the cannons on the other side now, in theory. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Um, just trying to get this line forward so we can be in range. All right, the rest of their artillery now is horse artillery, which is why we can't really take advantage of them the way we have been. Especially when their cavalry is still alive. Their horse cavalry is fine, actually. When there isn't normal cav defending them. Have our men run into position though. Okay, good. Artillery. Artillery reporting. The reason I tell them to walk forward is like this, so they don't deploy the cannons behind the lines either side. Right, are we in range from here? I wonder. We kind of are. 
which is good. I want to hit their cav. That's important. That is very important right now. Although those guys have unlimbered. Perfect. Alright, let's bring round our cav on the right side then. They are still very tired. In my general back. I think we're in a position where we can do quite a lot of damage to their cav now. I'm just gonna have run them run them into position and then just have them sit about for a while whilst we keep firing at them. Why are they standing there? Well, sure, I mean I'll fire at them. <laughs> That's absolutely fine by me. That's their leader. We can take him out, that'd be fantastic. They haven't quite left this artillery yet. Oh, they are charging, good. That's good. Provoke them to attack us. Oh. <laughs> it's always great watching them get wrecked like that. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Okay. Uh, we'll probably stop them firing and then put them on fire at well again. Uh, so they can engage units that are better targets. This is a settlement battle again, so we don't mind if stuff is still alive. Uh, let's not target the cannons, though. I have to target something else. I guess maybe these uh, Light Dragoons on the right, maybe. But yeah, we can charge into those six-pounder horse artillery. We might be able to take out the ones behind as well. It depends where they deploy. And we come. Ooh, shit. Don't hit my own dudes. What are you doing? Damn. <laughs> my artillery. Coming in hot there. Great. Right, they are broken. Fabulous. Right. They can run back now. I think their lines are, are coming towards us now. And their entire line is just coming straight at us. Which is fine. I'm just going to adjust this though. Nice thing about this right hand side is they'll be covered by the trees. I still have a unit of artillery back here that's being covered by light dragoons. And they're not moving them, which is strange. Anyway, we'll try and pick off these dragoons if we can. That is their leader as well, so that's also helpful. Alright, we got him. We got him. There we go. Right, and now we're going to have to be careful on this right flank because they're kind of coming at a weird angle. We'll just kind of do this instead. And now we'll just fire units directly in front of us. Good. I'm probably going to bring over my black watch to the left hand side, I think. 
And all of the cannons can stop firing now. Change the cannons to turn on fire at well. Almost good to go. There we go. Perfect timing. Not hitting them nice and hard. And they are going to have the advantage in numbers on the front. I'm hoping our cannons can kind of make up for that. They also have the Black Watch coming over. Trying to even things out a bit. I'm trying to concentrate them here as well. Like, thankfully, a lot of their units are very low on morale. Like, it's not like Napoleon's leading them. I don't think they even have a leader, do they? So, there we go. Oh, the shot's coming in. All the way from this frontline engagement, just shooting all the way over the top. Almost sniping our general. That would be karma, wouldn't it? Oh, we are demolishing them. I, th I was thinking we'd need more men, but... <laughs> Their morale is so bad. Alright. We've just flattened them. Look at that smoke as well. I love the way it all like goes with the wind in the same direction. Really cool. Especially when it's raining like this. Right, so they're probably going to reform a couple times and come back at us. I'm not going to force like the retreat on them because I don't really have enough cav to chase them down. We'll just let the, the cannons do their work. Oh, and that cav getting wrecked there is nice. Good show. I'm probably okay to just have these be flat lines because of the way that they are just routing every time they take an engagement. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Watching him just get slaughtered. Now go on Black Watch. Go on, Matt's done. The classic fire over the head of your enemy. It's actually uh, quite common in the Napoleonic Wars that uh, lines of infantry like this would not fire directly at their enemy, but over their enemy, because they were scared of killing people. <laughs> quite interesting, actually. And most of the time, line battles would be won just because the enemy ran away first, not necessarily because of the number of casualties. <laughs> So in this sense, where they still have a lot of men and they're all just running away, it's quite historical. <laughs> Not sure what they expect to do though. Also, why is there 6 pounder horse artillery running up our left flank? <laughs> That's weird. Oh, the never-ending forest engagements. Love those. Right, we destroyed the horse artillery. It's all good. Probably run down these militia if they want to stick about. Yeah, they're gone. Good. Right, let's bring those back. Are right, they going to charge us? Let's just melee charge them. Oh, look at the numbers there. They got slaughtered by that charge. Glorious victory.
countries, huh? It's soon to be yours. That's all we needed to do. Oh, they are done. He went from like a hundred men to sixteen in that melee engagement. Oh, these brave Dutch coming back. That's it. That's victory. Heroic victory. Love it. Killing those three units victory. of cannons at the start of that battle was so good for us. So good. For battle. Okay. We can actually liberate these to create the United Netherlands. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to just peacefully occupy that. Thank you very much. I'm going to fix it up. And we don't have to deal with public order for this turn, which is nice because they are in fact Protestant. So that's not too much of a problem. I might actually grab a unit of fencibles here. I think it makes sense. Same deal here, actually. Just so that I can put them in Amsterdam as well. So that we can maybe move out of the region next time. Well, that's the Batavian Republic destroyed. A grasp of the shovel. Plus one command when besieging. And plus three command when attacking on land due to unstoppable attacker. Wonderful. Raid ship has been built. Is that the one we already... Yeah, we already built here at Chatham Docks, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So there we go. Unfortunately, guys, it's been my time. But Amsterdam is ours. We're now boarded with our allies. And we're going to come down with the Duke of Wellington towards Strasbourg next. We are going to probably have to deal with some Swiss at some point. I wonder if they have like a Swiss guard unit. That'd be kind of cool. And we're also going to have to deal with Napoleon, actually. That's another good point. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.